the distinguished delegate of Lebanon. Madam President, I congratulate you for being elected as the President of 71st Session of United Nations General Assembly. Madam President, terrorism is blind and strikes indiscriminately in any part of the world, from Iraq to Colombia, from Belgium to Pakistan, and from Nigeria to Nauvoo. My delegation would like to reiterate its firm condemnation of terrorism in all its forms in manifestation and would further like to express its deepest sympathy to the families affected by these heinous acts. Lebanon has been at the forefront of two of the biggest crises of the world is facing today, terrorism and refugees. With the countries bordering water on Syria on its northern and eastern fronts, a spillover of extremists and fighters and the influx of refugees, the situation is escalating. People were, people near the frontier have been plagued by sporadic bombings at the hands of ISIs, while makeshift camps have been set up harboring around 1.5 million stranded refugees who have been left homeless and helpless by the fighting ravaging their home country. Such are the external problems that are affecting the country. As for the internal conflict, Hezbollah has ramped up its influence from its stronghold in southern Lebanon, despite being classified as a terrorist group by various foreign states and despite its control of the militia. There occurs constant terror at the border between Lebanon and Syria, where extremist militants have been seeping through the orchestrating terrorist operations. It is no doubt that Islamic State militants are behind all the attacks. What happened in Ka is the start of a new wave of terrorist operation in different areas of Lebanon. Madam President, my country, which is partly to the 13 Revolution UN International Instrument Against Terrorism has been suffering the devastating consequences of terrorism that has claimed numerous innocent lives, including civilians, political leaders, and journalists. The Lebanese armed forces have made tremendous progress to bring these attacks to an end. We recall the utmost necessity to differentiate between terrorism and legitimate right to resist foreign occupation as it is solidly embedded in international law. However, some of these individuals who resist are the victims of terrorists who exploit their just cause and use it as a catalyst for committing condemnable acts. Madam President, finally, let me draw your attention to alarming acts of terrorism taking place in occupied Palestinian territory. In fact, in addition to the well-known crimes against humanity and war crimes committed by Israel, Israeli settlers continue to perpetrate acts of terrorism against the Palestinian civilian population and their property. Such acts should be condemned in the stronger terms of their others prosecuted. Clearly, Israel's elite commitment to democracy and the rule of law does not extend to certain categories of populations. Madam President, Lebanon urged donor countries to continue their support of the Lebanese people who are housing one third of the population in refugees. Thank you, Madam President.